Hey guys, Tiju22 here. And up next is the second third round matchup between the newly crowned European champion, Kane. And uh, that title is going to be on the line, but that's the least of. Um, that's pretty much the least of one's worries. Uh, of course, the, the big prize is to advance to the next round and ultimately become the King of the Ring. Uh, so far we have uh, Vader advance to the next round and he will take on the winner of this match between Kane and his other opponent he summons the flames from hell does Kane and yes my and yes his opponent is my good friend, the undisputed champion, Digino, the Canadian destroyer, Digino, coming in in his sweet ride. Oh yeah! So yes, it's going to be Digino taking on Kane. Uh, Digino defeated uh, Stone Cold by submission, and he also beat Jacob Cass, also by submission. Uh, but now he's going to take on a whole different animal in Kane. And and uh, this particular matchup is a an Iron Man match. And, uh, and, and once again, it was chosen by random. And uh, this particular match will last 10 minutes. So that it doesn't take forever. And uh, 10 minutes, is, it, it's perfect for a match like this. But of course, Digino does uh, stand at what two inches short? What two inches shorter? Sorry, folks, I screwed up there. He's like two inches shorter than Kane, and probably gives away forty pounds, maybe. Other than that, uh, he's big and strong enough to take on Kane. But what Kane has going for him is the supernatural powers that he possesses you know being that he is the brother of the undertaker uh, who is of whom is the world heavyweight champion and we'll see him later on tonight but right now it's it's early in the match so for Kane he's got to uh, he for Kane it's very simple he has to throw his weight around uh, on Digino and he's got to uh, get ahead as soon as possible because the last thing Kane wants to do is let Digino hang around you know whether it's being behind by one or whether it's tied going into the final minutes and already a submission attempt a chin lock onto Digino but yeah Digino uh, it, it's a little too early but it, it doesn't hurt to wear down uh, Digino if you're Kane but for Digino, uh, the thing is, if he can get a quick pinfall, more power to him. But the one thing he can't afford is to fall behind one, by at least one fall to Kane. Because if he does, it, it usually is a hard, it's it's very hard to uh, make a comeback against Kane because well, Kane is one of those cold-blooded killers, which is kind of ironic because. Kane symbolizes fire. So it, I mean, for for Digino, I mean, I mean, he has to pick his poison. Does he want to fire up the big red machine and have the big red machine, you know, possibly, you know, take out Digino, or does he want Kane to be calm, cool, and collected? I mean, because if he is, usually Kane is able to. Uh, assess the situation and come up with something devious which would be to his advantage uh... Kane I would say so for Digino he would have to uh... try to score a pinfall uh, either now or towards the end of the match because if he you know because if he falls behind like I said before it's it's tough to make a comeback onto Kane now that I've said what I've needed to say, let's just get on to this match. As 
as Dijno goes for a couple of right hands. And that devastating left. I mean, I know how those punches feel. I mean, I've, I've trained with Dijno. You know, whenever uh, we don't have any matches, usually he and I train and we, 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 we would train. And, you know, and uh, he's delivered a couple of punches right to my face. Uh, but, but, you know, we're, we're kind of like brothers, you know. Just like me and MG Blue. I mean, we're, 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 we're like brothers, man. And the same could be said for uh, Nufi Bongo. Wait a minute, pinfall cover. One, no, kick out by Kane. But yeah, all the guys in uh, Wii 4, in myself included, uh, we're like brothers, man. It's like a brotherhood, man. Just, it is what it is. I mean, it's like we're friends, but yet we act as if we're brothers, you know? Same, I mean, of course, you could say the same about Kane and the under Undertaker, but uh, nuts to that. A backside slam right to Digino. So yeah, Kane has got to try to get a pinfall uh, relatively early because once you get down to the three minute mark, uh, then you have to start to expend more energy. Yeah, expend more energy. You know, simply to try to get a pinfall. So far, it's one or not one. Sorry, it's uh, zero to zero, a scoreless tie. But we'll find out how scoreless it'll be. Uh, towards the end, but so far, uh, Digino has done a pretty good job of Kane. You know, not rushing in, he's just letting Kane come to him. Which is probably the best uh, strategy you can do against Kane. A backbreaker onto Digino by Kane, and a pinfall cover. One, no, kick out by Digino. Now Kane is choking down uh, Digino. I mean, uh, being that Digino is the smaller of the two men, uh, Digino is going to have to use his speed rather than his strength because, uh, I mean, really, you're not going to outpower Kane. I mean, let's just be honest, folks. I mean, he can't do it. I probably couldn't do it myself. I mean, oh, wait a minute. The torture rack. This move has put out uh, Austin and Cass, but countered by Kane. Of course, Kane did his scouting. He's, I mean, Kane is not one to come to a bet. Yeah, Kane is not one to come to a match unprepared. Oh no, no! Tombstone pile driver onto uh, Digino, and this could be it. One, two, no! A kick out by Digino. I mean, not very many guys can uh, kick out of the Tombstone Pile Driver. Wait a minute. Fallout 3. Fallout 3 onto uh, Kane, then a kick to the back. I'm surprised he didn't go for the cover there, but I, I guess uh, Digino knows what he's doing. I trust, I trust that he knows what he's doing, of course. A Bulldog onto Digino. An elbow right to Kane. Well, like I said before, we're approaching the three minute mark, and uh, so far Kane doesn't have a lead or anything. It's still tied. So, if it, it. Well, right now, uh, Digino just got DDT'd, but as I was about to say, uh, Digino is in a good spot. I mean, he has Kane right where he wants him with that pinfall cover. One! No! Yeah, a, a little too much strength on the part of Kane as he delivers a DDT once again to Digino. And a pinfall cover. One! Two! No. But yeah, uh, Digino 
It's still tied. Nothing. What? Ugh. Oh my god, I am sucking so bad right now. Anyways, I was trying to say, it's tied 0-0. Zero, zero. And... And to be in this position, uh, Digino has got to be thankful because... Well, let's just say, if you can last as long as this... If you can last this long against Kane, you pretty much have a chance. And reversed into a Russian leg sweep by Digino. So yeah, uh, I, I going into this match, uh, I had to think that Digino would have to try to take it from Kane in the end. Otherwise, um, that's pretty much his only chance, realistically. And Kane, what's he setting him up for? Uh-oh. Does not look good. Oh my god! A superplex! Onto Digino and uh oh, Digino's pissed, and I think Kane realizes that. Now, keep in mind, folks, there are no disqualifications, there are no countouts, and falls do count anywhere. A belly to belly suplex onto the canvas, and uh oh, oh no. Tombstone pile driver onto the canvas? Oh, this has gotta do it. One, two, three, yeah. I don't care who you are, I don't care if you're Digino, I, I don't care if you're, uh, the big show, I mean, if you can, if you get Tombstone Pile driven into that, uh, canvas, much less a DDT to the canvas, uh, chances are you're not getting up from that. An elbow, and a kick right to the back of the head. But right now, Digino is down one nothing. The best he could do is uh, tie it, and if that happens, uh, both he and Kane would be eliminated if the if the score was tied. But for Kane, he's just have to yeah. For Kane, he's just got to hold on for the next uh, 16 seconds, and if he does that, he's gonna win. A back suplex slam, all but. Digino made a mistake. He should have went for the cover and at least tried to uh, get rid of Kane. But, unfortunately, for Digino, Kane wins. And, and as a result, he is now the new undisputed champion and is going to the semifinals. The final four. But for Digino, he came so close to winning this. I mean, he's my friend and everything, but... Kane was the better man tonight. But folks, we still got more matches yet to come. This is Tiju22 signing off saying goodbye, and I'll see you then. Peace.